Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back again to the Specialized Automation. So today in this video, Kokumba Tutorial Learning Session 14, we'll be discussing about the advanced HTML and PDF reporting. Okay. So as of now, we have seen there is so many different types of reporting in Kokumba. Like we can use the Kokumba Pretty HTML reporting and JSON reporting. Then whoever is using test engine, they can use the test engine reporting. Also, they can implement the listener interfaces. Then we can have advanced HTML reporting using extend API. We can also do Kukumba reporting is in Kukumba map and parallel plugin and we can also do Kukumba reporting using Kukumba under classes okay so for Kukumba pretty HTML reporting I have shared a separate video for that what is doc string and runner class and report generation this is the standard output of HTML reporting and JSON reporting the basic and guys who are working with test engine they already know test engine by default generate one report that can be much more enhanced by working on the implementing interface and whoever want to implement the extend API reporting feature, this is advanced reporting, they can go through this video and implement it on their own. And regarding this Cucumber Maven parallel plugin, this is a new feature and this also helps us to generate the very useful HTML reporting, including pie chart graph, everything. For that, I have given a video that how we can do that, auto generate the runner and advanced HTML reporting in Cucumber, okay? So this is the structure basically you will get uh, at the end of your testing. This is kind of report you will get all the features. So please go through the video if you want to learn. And uh, today in this video we will be discussing another way of HTML and PDF advanced reporting using Cucumber Runner. Okay. So to do that in my earlier video I will discuss what is extend Cucumber options. The link is given above that how we can do that. So first of all, we need the Cucumber Runner jar file to be added in our classes. This is my sample feature file updated. Um, navigating the feature in the Amazon site related to the final page. And this is the glue code that I've implemented. All this is just for demonstration purpose so that you can implement it in your own project. Okay. And see runner class I have written as a Chrome browser runner. Okay. Now at the end of the video, you, will, you should try, you must try to implement on your own and uh, get your uh, whatever the build path or the jar file you need to add. Just say the same thing what I've done in my POM file and uh, you can use that. It's very much helpful. So, the first thing we need to add Kumba Runner that the link I've given above from the Maven repository. Who is using Maven? Just go to this particular link, add this dependency. And if you're any using non Maven project, you can simply download the jar, add it to your build path. You should also use this what is the fee marker. This is the Apache PUI that helps us to generate the report from the template, JSON template provided. Okay. So, you must always remember uh, all this reporting like detailed reporting aggregate reporting, overview reporting, coverage reporting, and just is this reporting. I'll give you the link so that you can go through it and get to know more about it. What is the reporting feature is contents? Basically, if you're trying to run it, if, you are, if your script is failing sometimes, and if you try to retry it again until an analysis is successful, and if you want to show the result, it comes under the aggregate reporting, okay? So for users reporting, you should must use this option, users options, users, and where you want to generate the report okay so all the report will basically generate in the json format from that it will get extracted by the template feature that i provided free marker it will get converted to the advanced html reporting layout okay simply cucumber option you need to provide ja unit cucumber result xml file rerun if you want to rerun and uh, the failed case scenario in a storing in this in a text file okay but let me just quickly do one thing let me just run my uh, runner class and we'll see the result for pdf conversion you have to use the two pdf equal to true including tags that's all the things are self-explanatory i don't need to explain i guess so run has been started successfully it will take some time to load as my network with little bit slow Okay, so the browser has been opened and successfully is navigated to this designated website. Then it will click on this uh, sign in button, it will validate the relevant pages. Now, once it is done, it will close the browser. Okay, uh, okay, test environment destroyed and 
rest all the reporting let give it some time uh, while it collect all the reporting uh, features and generate the reports meanwhile let me talk to my package explorer let me refresh that project first so all the reporting like the json reporting all the things i mentioned in default part is a target it should generate the cucumber json reporting in my target folder and from the json it will extract it and html reporting and pdf layout i should also get okay so uh, the generate has been passed successfully now i should get this report all these things in my target folder let me take you to my target folder now refreshing it okay so so see we have seen that so many reports html reporting pdf reporting everything generated along with the real text cucumber json exact way i have mentioned in my cucumber external cucumber option cucumber options classes let me take you to the directory itself so from that folder it will be easier to see now talking with uh, coverage report if you try to open it we can see that the feature status i have already covered only single features and single uh, scenario but you have multiple features status all this will be covered in say this way the graph chart okay and talking about uh, result feature overview you will get to know how many features steps on how many uh, what is the different details so for this also you will get to know the total durations for each and every steps okay if there is any failure skip undefined portions and for user reporting it much more enhanced you will get to see the graph reviews the count and all the frequency was durations which uh, steps has been occurred multiple times all those things like cucumber statics test they will be given it will be generated that will be basically very much helpful to send all those things to the higher management in case here yeah, they are looking for some much advanced reporting feature along with that we can also get easily this pdf format okay that's the pdf format we can simply run our feature file and run the test everything will be collected and we will generate the pdf format that you can simply send out a mail okay so that's the thing about using this cucumber runner uh, parallel uh, reporting cucumber runner reporting uh, suite that simply you have to include the jar files and output folder all this thing in it dimensions so that's all for today guys i guess if you have already understood uh, the types of reporting and how we can achieve the reporting in cucumber so thanks to guys for watching this video if you want to know more about this please let me know in the below comment sections okay so have a good day guys bye bye